Hi guys, my name is Danny Kobel and welcome back to Bear With Me. Every time I start up this game, I am so excited to get in and find out more of the story. So let's just hop on in. Um, I always forget what my save is. Here we go. Yay! Oh, it's been a crappy last couple hours. Wi-Fi is not working well. And Ted, I'm so glad to see you. You make it happy again. Is that cabinet there locked? Cabinet? That's a cardboard box. What? What cabinet? This one? The desk? The convertible of desks. Very chic. chic. Very. That's not how you spell chic. Is it? I don't, know. I don't think so. What's in the roll top? It's locked. I've, oh, okay. Need a key. I really like those old roll top desks. They're really cool. It acts as the last line of defense between the housemates and the harsh environment outside. <laughs> Kitchen of water? It's filled with attic stuff. Christmas decorations and whatnot. How many people actually have an attic like that where like they keep stuff? I'm sure I'm sure a ton of people do. Our attic is just a crawl space that's insulation. Like there's nothing in it. All the just attic some stuff. random attic stuff you'd usually find in an attic. <laughs> there we have an old bean can. Is it empty? Full? Who knows? The mystery is part of the fun. Then there's some bag of something. Flour, maybe? A bunch of boxes filled with ugly clothes? Why would you keep flour in the attic? I don't know. Let's talk to Brian! Poor thing, I bet he feels so alone up here. Do you just leave him up here? Come on, Amber. That's not very nice. Don't leave your Good evening, friends. officer. <laughs> oh my god, Miss Ashworth. Is that yeah. really you? I must say, I've only seen you in the papers, but you look even better in person. Stop, you're going to make me blush. <laughs> Oops, too late. Uh, no, but seriously, officer. Burke, Miss Ashworth, but you can call me Brian. Okay, Brian, we need to enter the city. You see, we're working on this case and we need to find a friend of ours. He might know some things. I'm terribly sorry, Miss Ashworth. I I'm afraid no one is allowed to enter the city at this point. Not even a beloved and well-known celebrity such as yourself. I'm so, so sorry. Oh, I miss the days with all the teddies when you were the one that was important. Well... So, so sorry. That's okay. That was so sorry. <laughs> Aren't you a bit young to be a policeman? A police officer, actually. I'm fresh out of the academy, but I'm planning to make detective in a couple of years. Well, that's ambitious. Is that a fake mustache? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, are we just... Are we gonna say anything else? I can't click on anything. It is! It just <laughs> fell on the floor. Oh. Well, this is embarrassing. I'm sorry. Everyone at the station has a mustache these days, and I just can't seem to grow one myself. My oh, fiancé even makes fun of me sometimes. Well, I think you look just dashing without a mustache. <laughs> it makes you look younger. Well, thank you kindly, miss. That's a tough deal, kid. You'll have a hard time becoming a detective if you don't have a mustache. But Ted. you don't have one, Mr. Bear. I'm a private snoop, Jimmy. I don't need to fit in. I walk my beat alone. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, can you make an exception? Do you know anything about the Red Man? Um, let's you haven't ask seen Flint, Flint Ashworth by any chance. Miss Ashworth's brother? That's right. Have you seen him? I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. I'm confused. That's understandable, son. You're a paper city police officer. Never mind that now. Can Can't you make an exception? exception to let us pass? Just this once. Mr. Bear, as much as I admire both you and Miss Amber, <laughs> seriously, I'm a huge fan, but <laughs> orders are still orders. Things are getting really bad down in the city. If anything were to happen to Miss Amber, I could never forgive myself. Dave, who ordered this lockdown? The state officials. Mayor Mills himself signed the decree. I'm afraid without the mayor's signature, no one is allowed to enter or leave the city at the moment. Uh, and it's Brian, sir. And how come the city <laughs> is on lockdown happen. anyways? I'm afraid I'm not in a position to discuss such matters, Mr. Bear. Terribly sorry. Brian's so cute. I love him. <coughs> okay. Stevie. You know anything about the Red Man? I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. I really can't discuss such matters. Uh, I will tell you one thing, though. The word on the street is that the suspect, codename Red, is asking a lot of questions about Miss Ashworth. What kind of that. questions? What's so interesting about Amber, anyways? Hey! Uh, don't worry, Miss Ashworth. You're the most interesting person I know. If I was a crazy lunatic with an agenda, I'd stalk you, too. Aw, that's so cute. 
Thank you, Brian. Oh, no, now... <laughs> Now I'm blushing. I just have to interrupt whatever this is. Jerry, <laughs> what kind of information is Red after? It's Brian, sir, and I'm afraid <laughs> I don't really know much about the subject. Only what I hear from the fellow police officers here and there. Besides, I'm not in a position... To discuss such matters, yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> How do we do it, then? So, what is it we need to do in order to enter the city? Well, I suppose you would have to get clearance. Signed by Mayor Mills himself. And he'll just sign this clearance, no questions asked. Normally, no. I don't think so. But mm -hmm. since you're in the company of the beautiful and talented Miss Amber, I'm sure the mayor will make an exception. Bye, Ted. Where are you going? I'll have to get the mayor <laughs> on the phone to sort this thing out. You think he'll let us enter the city? I really don't know. But that drunk owes me a couple of favors. It's time to call him up on it. <laughs> to the Bat Cave. To the Bear Cave! Yeah, let's go! <laughs> this is your bat cave. Bear's office. Hello there, doll. This is Teddy Bear. You may know me from such cases as saving the mayor's ass on several <laughs> occasions. I've also set you up with a buddy of mine that one time. Of course, Mr. Bear. I know who you are. Are you looking to speak with the mayor, Mr. Bear? Because I'm afraid he's not in at the moment. Can I take a message? No. I have to talk to the mayor personally. It's important. When will the mayor be back? The mayor should be in first thing in the morning, Mr. Bear. Okay, never mind. Thanks anyway, doll. <laughs> oh. He's not in, and we don't have time to sit around and wait till he sobers up. We'll have to find another way. Hey, what if we made the clearance ourselves? That's falsifying government papers, doll. I like it. There should be some stationery <laughs> around here. Give me a minute. Have a drink while you wait. A drink of what? <laughs> Make-believe water? Never mind. Here it is. <laughs> that was quick. Paper City. That looks so fake. Am I supposed to do something there. with it? There. Now we just need something to use as a stamp. And we need to falsify the signature. You're an artist of sorts. You can do this, right? Not really. I could probably make a stamp out of something, but I can't falsify the signature. Fine. I'll get those two goons to do it. The mugshots? You think they'll help you? Don't worry. <laughs> My right knuckle can be very persuasive. <laughs> Which one? You got four or five, five of them. You have five knuckles. Okay, so we're looking for something to use as a stamp. Hmm. What do we got around? Do we have anything in our door? We have the paper, the clearance paper. Um, we have the army knife. Oh, we have the office desk key. Oh, okay, perfect. But I don't think we have anything to actually make stuff with. Hmm. I wonder if, I'm just trying to see if there's anything around here. Cause I gotta look carefully now. Cause last time, there was a little itty bitty tiny nail on the floor, and that was too small to see. Really. <laughs> it took me forever to figure that out. I want to go see, maybe there's something in the black room. Wait. Was there, s no, that was string in Flint's room. Well, let's go to Flint's room anyways. Oh wait, only he can go in Flint's room. Well, we'll see. Maybe he has to go actually go in to talk to them. Is there anything around here that just had the number on it? Cigars, hourglass, books, I don't think so. Bye-bye, Ted. You head through that little hole. Amber could, well, actually, maybe Amber's head might not fit through that hole. <laughs> She's got a big head. Um, what's this something? It looks like a match in a small metal container. Is it? Did I, I get it right? I don't know. It's too pixelated. Um, so I gotta look for something that has a hand on it. Candy bag? Random papers. Don't think there's anything else on here. Do I have to talk to you guys? Maybe? I'm not sure. I would assume so. Any leads on the missing kid yet? That's classified. You two remembered something. Nothing useful, probably. <laughs> I faintly remember my old man. He was sitting on a bar stool, just drinking away. And after a while, the waiters would just chuck him out the back into a dumpster. <laughs> Aw, that's kind of sad. Um, what's that? Oh, the guitar. I thought it said, like, gutter. Like, like an eaves trough gutter? Or, like, a guillotine? Well, guillotine's not a gutter, but something to kill you with. Hmm. <laughs> can't go down there. We can't talk to Rusty, right? Yeah, no, he's still asleep. Um. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna just kind of check around the house and see what's, what's what. Bye! 
Now I have, I've got this. Let's use this. Maybe there's a stamp. Hey, the key Yay. fits. Let's see what we have in here. A vial of ink. Perfect. Vial of ink. It's a vial of ink. Boy, this desk must be really <laughs> old. Who uses ink anymore? Well, technically we all do. Just not quills. I'll take the ink with me. If we okay. wake up in 1789 <laughs> tomorrow, I'll be all set. Is that all that's in there? Really? That's all that's in there? Oh man, I want a stamp. I want it. I want it so bad. It's filled with towels, I think. Or sheets or something. Oh. Hey. It's a candle. We can use Forgotten this. here. Until the lights go out. Then it's like, oh, where are those candles we keep in the house? <laughs> yep, that's the way it goes. Aha. Aha! I'll take it with me, just in case. Maybe I'll need to read in the dark at some point or something. Nope. We need to make a stamp. Do we use the army knife on There. Now yes. I got a stamp. All I need now is some ink. Yep. I got that too. Messy. Hopefully I won't get it all over my pockets. Why are you holding ink and stamps? Are you pockets? even trying? Sorry. What do I do then? Do what with it? Okay. So I can't just combine them. I need to do something. Oh, my thing's stuck. Um, hmm. <laughs> okay, this will probably be the outro because I need this in. But yes, I looked up some help because I am stuck on the clearance. This is what happens when you attack Millie. No! Oh my gosh, I hate you, whoever you are. Okay, so we got the stamp now with the ink on it and the clearance. So let's... Let's not talk to them first because they're going to talk forever. We need to get you to sign or create a signature for this, right? Can you guys help me? I need your help, low lives. I've got this fake clearance to enter the city, and I need you to falsify the mayor's signature. And what makes you think we're the right guys for this? Do we look like counterfeiters to you? Yes. Yeah, you sure do. Yeah, you do. That's Ted. That's Ted. Just, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we can do this. <laughs> but again, what's in it for us? You didn't say that before. Can't you just do it out of common courtesy? They won't take that. Can't you do it for the kids? You better do it if you want to play the clarinet again. Yeah, that's You tight. better do it if you ever want to play the clarinet again. What does that even mean? What do you think? It means I'm going to confiscate your clarinet. Oh <laughs> no, not the clarinet, Jimmy. Would you do it for Amber? I would do it for Miss, but something tells me you're just dropping names to get us to agree. She's with me, and she needs your help. Oh yeah? She sure lost a lot of weight, or you finally lost your mind, because I can't see you. She's in the other room. She couldn't squeeze through. I'll cut you a deal, Snope. You bring me proof that little Miss is with you, and I'll falsify this report card of yours. You mean the clearance. What? Yeah, the clearance. I'll be back. Sure thing, Arnold. <laughs> so what do we do now? You got it? No, they don't have anything to write with. You have your pencils with you? Here you go, but be sure to get them back. I'll be right back. That's enough. Really, like, not a picture using the camera in the parents' bedroom, just pencils? Oh, game, I love you, but you don't make sense. Oh, dear. Creator's tool? That's what they're called? She's ten. Why is it called a creator's there. Does tool? Does this qualify as proof to you? Now, show some integrity for once in your life and do this thing. Whoa there! Are these the creator's tools? Where did a snoop like you get these? <laughs> Muffin Man. <laughs> I want to say that. So got the local store had a bunch of these. Oh, the totally. The Muffin Man gave them to me. The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man. Muffin Man. Amber gave them to me, obviously. They have Aww. her initials and everything. All right there, Snoop. Don't get all riled up. Show me that land deal you want falsified. You mean the clearance. What? Yeah, sure, the clearance. Why didn't they keep going with that? Yeah. That would now, be awesome. Now, if you don't mind, me and John John have some business to attend to. So, how about you hit the old dusty trail? Can do, dude. Can do. See ya, fellers. Bye! Bye-bye! Yay, we got it. There. Finally. All sorted out. You didn't hurt them, did you? <laughs> I sure did. 
Lowlifes like that only understand one kind of language. Oh no, Ted. Why are you always so mean to them? What? No. It's expected with those two. Never mind that now. I got it sorted. Let's head back to that cop boyfriend of yours. Aw, Ted is so sweet. He didn't hurt them at all, but he has to look tough for Amber. Because he wants to impress her. This is such a sweet game. Frustrating at times, because the puzzles are a little all over the place. But it's so sweet. I'm gonna cry. Jeez, no. Oh, it's a video game about a teddy bear. It's so cute. <laughs> Alright. This should be... Oh, wait. Do we have to combine them first? Probably. Um, this to this? All yeah, done. There. Wow, forging documents is a lot of work. <laughs> I like that. Legit. It's a legit clearance now. Here we go. Here you go, Mike. Signed by Jim. Uh, Mayor <laughs> Mills himself. Nice. Yes, here it is, and it's like totally real and not at all fake. Well, everything seems to check out. Wait a minute. And enjoy the scenery, Miss Amber, Mr. Ted. It's a beautiful view of the city from here. Have a nice night. You too, Brian. Good night, bye. Why, <laughs> Why did he say wait a minute? And I got achievement for forging documents is easy. <laughs> Let's go. Wait. All right, I guess we're going back there. Okay. You ready, Ted? Give me a minute. I thought I left that place for good, you know. What about you? Aww. You haven't been there in some time, doll. Yeah, I think so. Besides, we have a case to solve. You're right. Let's go. We can do this. Is this the end of the chapter? Nope. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, maybe actually. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> it kind of oh. feels like going home. God damn it. It really <laughs> does. <laughs> Ted, I never asked you. What happened to your former partner? He grew up. Oh my gosh, that is the saddest one I've ever heard! Oh my gosh, I never cried at video games! Grow up! Oh my gosh! End of episode one. Really, that was episode one. Jesus, episode one. He grew up. Wait, that's not the end of the game, is it? Hold your horses. Why are the credits rolling? Okay, I'm gonna get back to you after the end of the credits, cause. Wait, there's gotta be more game than that. We're just back here. Guys! Episode 2 isn't out yet. It's supposed to be out like end of this year, as far as I can see. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this game. It's probably because it ended so quickly. Oh my word, that line is going to haunt me all day now. What happened to your old partner? He grew up. No! No, you can't do that to me, game. You can't say that and then roll credits. I'm sorry that I am freaking out right now, but I am tearing up. I... Oh my gosh. <sighs> Anyways, that was Bear With Me, episode one. Good grief, that was good. I want more right now. Ugh. But that was episode one. I can tell you 100% I will be playing episode two. So if you like this game, look forward to it as much as I am, because I freaking love this game, I swear. But that's an all for now. <laughs> that's all for now, there's no more to play. I will let you guys know, probably in the comments of this section or something, when I know when the release date is for it, because that'll give me an estimate. Um, 
But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments for me, let me know in the comments below. You can email me or you can find me on Tumblr. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you next time. Bye guys. Hi me. How's it going? Do you want some ice cream from my shop? Hey, how's it going? No, please don't call the cops. It's a drug front.